we will be performing cats and dogs for spinal flexion and spinal extension. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set ourselves up in the quadruped position. I'm gonna have my hands underneath my shoulders, knees underneath my hips, and I'm just gonna make sure that I start in my cat position, right? So I'm gonna think, tuck my toe under the round out the lumbar spine, keep the shoulders engaged, so I don't wanna press away from the floor. Shoulders stay engaged, but I wanna think, round out my, cervical, my thoracic spine, and then finally, my cervical spine. From there, I will just go into extension, my dog position there. So I think really try to focus on that lumbar spine, thoracic spine, and cervical spine. Again, make sure we don't squeeze the shoulder blades, shoulders stay engaged, and I get full extension. That is that dog position. And then we'll just slowly work back into the cat position. And then finally, back into the dog position. So we just wanna make sure we get as much flexion of extension from the spine as possible. Make sure we're not reaching with the shoulders too much or squeezing the shoulder blades back too much. Really just wanna focus on the control over all of our vertebrae, right? So we don't wanna just go here, right? Go fast. We wanna think nice and slow. So if I'm starting in flexion, start at, this, at the lumbar spine and then work my way, trying to get all the vertebrae involved into my dog position. And then the same thing, tuck that lumbar spine work all the way back into my cat position, working on that lumbar and thoracic spine primarily, and then you can bring the cervical spine into it at the end. So those are cats and dogs for spinal flexion and extension.